This method can help answer key questions regarding the genetic regulation of the formation and maintenance of the blood-brain barrier during multiple stages of Drosophila development. This method can also be adapted to examine the permeability of other barriers, like the intestinal epithelium, in a variety of organisms. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows evaluation of the blood-brain barrier function in live tissues. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the sample manipulations can be difficult and many steps require close attention to detail. For embryo collection, place a minimum of 50 virgin females with 20 to 25 males per bottle with cornmeal agar food and incubate these flies for one to two days before beginning the collections. The day before the collection, warm apple juice agar plates at 25 degrees Celsius overnight. The next morning, transfer the carbon dioxide anesthetized flies to a collection cage and place a pre-warmed apple juice agar plate with a small smear of yeast paste on the open end of the cage. Then secure the plate to the cage with the red sleeve. To clear older embryos, allow the flies to lay eggs on an apple juice agar plate for one hour at 25 degrees Celsius. At the end of the incubation, invert the cage mesh side down and tap the flies to the bottom of the cage. Replace the apple juice agar with a new pre-warmed apple juice agar plate with a small smear of yeast paste. Allow the flies to lay eggs on the new plate for another hour at 25 degrees Celsius. To collect late stage 17 embryos for injection, replace the apple juice agar plate with a new pre-warmed plate with a smear of yeast paste and allow the flies to lay eggs on the plate at 25 degrees Celsius.